Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have some special guests from uh, Ohio and New York. Paul D, Denver, and Seppi. We're gonna start off with Denver. Let's get started. So Denver, what does your life look like nowadays? Oh, I live in New York now. I decided to get away. I own a small, uh, I own a small bakery downstairs from my apartment. And I'm very proud to say that it's successful and we get new customers every day. Uh, I decided to move from 124 just because I can't handle it anymore. <clears throat> um, I can't deal with the constant reminder of how everything was and how I used to be. And I'm just happy to be here. Like I feel safe in New York. I feel confident and the like this type of isolation that I am in is good. The kind of isolation I had in Ohio was very bad. And I just feel secure in New York and I'm glad that I made this decision. I'm very happy to hear that. That's really nice that you're doing so good. So uh, what's your relationship like with your mother and Paul D looking like? Um, well, I used to be ri I used to be so angry. I was angry all the time. And before I was just like, I just hated everything. And I've grown to realize that that's like painful. It hurts me more than anyone. And it just affects everything around me and everything like that. And um, I for I've forgiven my mother for what she's done and what like everything that's just happened and all that's going on even currently today and I just love her I just choose to love her and I, I look right past through her flaws and I thank God every day for her and I just like I'm glad that nothing happened to her when that whole mess was going on um I still prefer to keep my distance to avoid any negative feelings or like memories or anything like that and it's, it's good it's good for both of us for paul d um we're good i think he's cool paul d i like him i used to hate him so much because he just like took my mom from me but no i i have i've grown to appreciate him and i see why he is here in our lives and i see that he he's really he's really meant for seppi and seppi can't survive without him and I'm really glad that he's around. I appreciate him and I, I respect him. Okay, I see. I understand. <clears throat> so what does your bakery mean to you? Mm, my bakery to me is an escape. It's an escape and it's, it's my freedom and I, I really love, I love my bakery and it's just <sighs> to get away from the past and I don't like to ponder on the past. I like to look forward and focus on the future. And I'm just so thankful that I have it. It's very successful. And whenever I, um, whenever I just like go down to visit my mom, everybody comes around to our house and I just bake for them. And they, they want to hear my new recipes and they want to hear my stories about New York because they're so intrigued. And it's very nice to see them come together every once in a while. And I really like our community that everybody is just with us now. And it's great. All right, Denver, that's all I got for you. Thanks for being on the show and thank you for your answers. I really appreciate your company right now. Uh, now go on, go on ahead and go backstage while we interview Paul D coming up. This episode is sponsored by Denver's Bakery. For the, fresh, for the freshest bread, head on down to Denver's Bakery. Seriously, it doesn't get any fresher than this. And we're back! And here's Paul D with us. And here we have a few questions for you, Paul D. So, how do you feel about your life with Seppi? Oh man, I am so very happy. That girl, whoo, Seppi, she just she makes me the happiest man on this planet. I'll tell you what, she's she freed me from my awful past. And there's just some things that you know you couldn't live without. And she's one of them, you know. I really care for her deeply and she's my cinnamon apple, you know. We're like bread and butter. 
Well, I'm glad you found somebody you can call your love. So, um, how do you feel about 124? I mean, it's home. It's pretty much all I can call it. It's home. It's where I'm living now. It's where I've lived my life. And, uh, you know, at first, first it was just real bad. Real bad energies just flowing through that place. You know, not very good relationships with the people I know now. It's just real creepy. But uh, now I, I couldn't I couldn't be happier anywhere else. I'm telling you the truth right now. Got Sethi with me, you know. And uh, it's just it's a much better place. Good juju. No more bad juju. Just living life. It's good that you feel that way. Very nice. Um, so how's your relationship with Denver? Oh, man. I'm... I'm so glad that I can call her my daughter, you know? Denver, she is one of a kind. Did she tell you she opened up her own bakery? She has her own bakery now. That is insane. But I mean, you're an interview, so. Anyways, I just, uh, I'm so proud to see how much she's grown up since everything that's happened before in the past. Like I said, in 124, it's just, it was tough, you know? It was real tough, and we went through a lot of things, but... Thank God we all managed to get through it together. And like I said, I'm just so proud of her. She's she's a grown woman now. Grown woman, she's got her bakery. She's doing good. Oh my goodness, look at the time. All right, we're gonna have to get Sethi next episode. Thank you, Paul D, for coming on down. Thank you, Denver, for coming on down. Everybody give him a round of applause.